Any questions? No? Good. I'm going to do one quick one over here. I'll do it over here. <coughs> I'm going to do one quick one. Just, just to make it absolutely clear what's going to happen. Now look at what happens here. What do you think is going to happen there? So the height would be 2, and minus 2. How much of a repetition is there going to be between 0 and 360? Half. So what it's going to be is this. 2 minus 2 180 360 now normally what you would get you would get one curve and then the bottom curve right but now you're only going to get half a repetition so that means that this is going to happen look You only get half the curve because that's what this says. Mr. Dice, I'm a bit confused. Mm -hmm. I get the height bit. All right. But I don't understand the repetition. Okay, so I want you to think of this shape. Okay? See that there? That is one repetition. Okay? Now, if I have two repetitions, that happens again. Oh. So this here, this distance between here and here, that there, that's one repetition. Now, what this says here is it's going to go up to 2 and down to minus 2, but between 0 and 360, you're only going to get half a repetition. So what would, you just go that. So you go the first half. And so that means that bit there. So if it was half, it's always that bit. Yeah, yeah, because you're always, from the beginning, the first half. Okay. Yeah, so the number in front of the X tells you how many times, how much of the repetition has to be included between 0 and 360. Mm -hmm. Okay. And does it change the sign, like sign and cos 10? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, so, so what we're doing is we're working with sign here. But we're going to later on figure out how this works with cos. And okay. we're going to find out that it's actually exactly the same. But the original curve that we start with is a little bit different. Okay. Okay? Thank you. I mean, it can't be any less than a half. Sorry? I mean that the, um, the number before x can't be less than half. It could be, it could, technically could be like anything, but we're not going to ask you for anything that's not easy to draw. Okay. Okay. Now, um, I've got one more for you. Let's say, um, 2 sine 4x. Can you draw that for me? You try and draw it. Don't worry if you get it wrong. We're going to do it on the board in a sec and we'll see how you go. Remember, we're going to draw to 360. That's going to be 180, 90, 270. That's going to be 2 minus 2. Y and X. Remember what these numbers tell you.
Now, do you remember how I said the period is the distance for one repetition? And I said this here was the frequency, and this is the amplitude. There's a formula for the period. It says 360 divided by N. N is how many times it repeats. Now, it repeats four times. So in this case here, the period would be 360 divided by four, 90. Now, what does that mean? It means that between zero and 90, you'll get one full repetition. Because the period is how much of X you need for one full repetition. That's where that comes from. But you can actually figure, <coughs> pardon me, you can actually figure that out for yourselves because there's gotta be four repetitions here between zero and 360. And they're all exactly the same. You can't have one bigger than the other. So hopefully what happened is you went, hang on, I've got to fit four of these things between zero and 360. I'm gonna divide it into four equal portions. And here, I'm gonna say, right, one repetition, two repetitions, three repetitions, four repetitions. Each one of these is one repetition, one cycle. And four of them have got to fit between zero and 360. That's what that four tells me. And then two tells me how high it goes and how low it goes. Is that all right? Yeah, that's what I like. Mr. Bates, mm -hmm. you don't have to work out the fraction, do you? You could just draw them in because you know there's... Four. Yeah, the only trouble will be, for example, if they say to you, um, if they describe the, the question, and they say, can you draw a sine curve with amplitude three? And you go, oh, great, three, three high, three low. And then they go, a period of 180. So the period is how far across you need to go on the x-axis for one repetition. And then you would go, oh, okay, so 180, 360 there's going to be two repetitions between 0 and 360. Okay? So they can ask in a slightly different way, but you should be able to figure out what they're trying to get to. The other thing they could do is they could say, write the equation of a sine curve with an amplitude of 3 and a period of 180. And if they did that, you would have to say, oh, that is y is equal to 3 sine 2x. Because if the period's 180, two repetitions are going to fit between 0 and 360. So, but yeah, I mean, we're going to practice this more and more. Are we okay? Now, the good thing about this is that you can now take everything that you've learned to the cos curve. The curve's going to change a little bit, but other than that, nothing else is different, okay?